I'm going to take over Atletico Madrid for 10 seasons. The goal is to get Atleti out of the shadows of their neighbors, Real Madrid. But that's not going to be easy because Real Madrid are the biggest institution in football. But over 10 seasons with myself as the manager, we're going to try and make it happen. These are the four challenges we need to complete in order to make Atletico a bigger club than Real Madrid. First one, winning three Champions League titles. That itself is going to be a monumental task because Atletico have never won a Champions League in their history. History, winning 15 domestic trophies, being in the same league as Real Madrid and Barcelona, that's going to be difficult too. Also having an Atletico Madrid win at the Ballon d'Or. You guys know how biased the Ballon d'Or is to Real Madrid and Barcelona players. That's going to be a tough challenge too. And finally, developing three existing youth talents that we have at the club to a 90 plus overall. If we can complete all four of these challenges by the end of the 10th season, I think we would have definitely got Atletico out of the shadows. Yo, we go, guys. Season one with Atletico Madrid. And honestly, these guys have a really underrated team, especially with Antoine Griezmann leading the line. Honestly, I know Griezmann's a bit old. 32 years old, he's probably only going to give us a couple of good seasons. But still, with him here, I think we could really win some trophies immediately. We got a great goalkeeper in Jan Oblak as well, a solid midfield. If we can just improve that defense, bring in some really high-rated players, I think instantly we can fight for La Liga as well as the Champions League. And Atletico do have a decent budget. It's not crazy, but 93 million is still pretty good. But hold up. Of course, the wheel of career mode is still going to be there to try and ruin everything. Every season, we're going to have to spin it once. And let's see what challenge we're going to get. And of course, of course, of course, to start things off, Real Madrid are signing your best player. And guess who's our best player? Antoine Griezmann. I was literally just talking about him leading our team. And guess what? Griezmann is betrayed us and joined Real Madrid. I can't blame him. This was the wheels doing and we only got 50 million for Griezmann as well. Okay guys, at least we've got 145 million to spend and we need to make some really good signings to make our team competitive for just this season. You know what? For the attack right now, I'm kind of content. I think Memphis Depay can do the job of replacing Griezmann but what we do really need is better defenders and I think we need to go big with our centre-back signing. Alessandro Bastoni could be huge and since Atletico in real life I've just knocked out Inter in the Champions League. I don't see why he wouldn't make the move to Atletico Madrid. Oh, but it was expensive. 90 million? I'm kind of glad that Griezmann money came in now. Not gonna lie, boys. This might be the most no-nonsense defense ever. Bastoni, Jimenez, and Oblak. That's a great base to build the team around. We're also signing Juan Miranda from Real Betis. A 23-year-old left back. 78 rated already. Look at his stats. A player like him is definitely gonna be one for the future. Oh, and by the way, with Miranda signing. We're done with our two transfers for the season. Don't you forget the takeover rules still apply. Every season we're only allowed two transfers. But yeah, I think the team is now looking good. Of course, Griezmann's miss is going to be heavy, but that's just what the wheel does. Also, guys, remember one of our challenges requires us to develop three players to a 90 plus overall? And I think I found the three players we're going to develop. One of them is Simeone. That's right. I'm pretty sure this guy is the son of Diego Simeone, Atletico's greatest ever manager. He's going to definitely be one wonder kid we'll try and develop. Only 20 years old. He's on loan and I think that's the right play. Then we've got this kid Pablo Barrios. 76 rated already. I don't think he's going to get game time this season so we will loan him out. And finally Arthur Vermeeren. 76 rated Belgian CDM. Again going to loan him out as well. Keep an eye on these three wonder kids guys because we're going to do everything possible to get them to a 90 plus rating. And there you go. We've loaned out both the wonder kids for a couple of years. All right, that's our team that we've got for the first season. Let's see if it's good enough to start winning at least some domestic trophies. And that's the first season done and we couldn't win La Liga. But honestly, a terrific attempt to finish second. Four points off Real Madrid. That's the thing. However good we do, Real Madrid are always going to be a little bit better and we need to break that trend. That's going to be tough. Oh, we even lost the Spanish Super Cup final. Did we win a single trophy? I don't think we did. Champions League, though, we talked our group, knocked out Dortmund as well, and Lazio. Ah, but in the semi-finals, PSG just destroyed us. Do you know what? In spite of losing Griezmann, I think we still did a good job. And also a lot of growth for the likes of Pastoni, Molina, and even Lino. First season, we've not made any progress with our challenges, but I do think we're building a solid foundation for season two. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why on earth am I wearing a cap, well, look closely. It's an S2GFC cap. That's right, boys. S2GFC merch is now a 
available. We got hoodies, caps, of course, and of course, the jersey. If you guys want to support myself and S2GFC, links will be in the description. And do tag me on Instagram or Twitter if you do end up getting yourself some merch. We're starting off season two with the return of probably Atletico's most talented asset, and that's Jao Felix, on loan at Barcelona, but now back with us. I know things didn't work out for him at Atletico the last time around, but guys, the talent he's got, he could literally be the player that wins us a Ballon d'Or. And you know what? I think I want to build this team around Ja Felix. Now, if we can just make some good signings around him, I reckon we'll start winning trophies from this season itself. The money's there too. Suddenly, our budget is up to 238 million. That's crazy. But I'm not getting excited. The wheel is still going to decide our fate. You can only sign players with 90 plus aggression. Makes sense. That's the Atletico way. But that's going to make the pool of players we can sign so small. It's going to make it tricky. Okay, I have found a player with 90 plus aggression. It's me. He's not getting into our team. Even Holland is only 88 aggression. I don't think there are many players with 90 plus. Are we going to get any sort of signing this season? Okay, wait. I think I have found a player. Lautaro Martinez has got exactly 90 aggression. The only decent player with that stat. And I think he's the perfect player for us to sign. Kind of fits the Atletico system as well. We put Alvaro Morata in a swap deal. He's getting old. That works. Guys, I just clocked. But we already signed Bastoni from India. And now we're getting Lautaro from them as well. As if knocking them out in the Champions League in real life wasn't enough. Not gonna lie though, Lautaro and Felix up top, that is one hell of a duo. But is this gonna be enough to win our first trophy? Wait a minute, what just happened? Fourth in La Liga? We've gone backwards after signing someone like Lautaro Martinez? At least we won the Spanish Super Cup. That's gonna count towards our first domestic trophy. But it doesn't look like we've won anything else. And in the Champions League, we got knocked out in the group stages. That is unbelievable. Oh, we did win the Europa League, which is awesome. But who cares? It doesn't help with any of our challenges. I don't know what's wrong with this team, honestly, because look at the ratings. But for sure, we got to figure something out. And our challenge for season three, you can only sign former Atletico players. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Once again, the money is there at the club, but it's the restrictions that the wheel is giving us that's, that's just making life difficult. I mean, we could sign Antoine Griezmann, but he He's just old now. And the thing is, what we need is maybe a world-class CDM. Maybe that'll just completely change our team. And why do I feel like Rodri has actually played for Atletico Madrid, briefly at least? And yes, I was right. Rodri spent the 18-19 season at Atletico Madrid before City bought him. And that does mean right now we are allowed to sign Rodri from City. This is going to be crazy. Well, for once, I'm going to thank the wheel because it's allowed us to sign probably the best midfielder in the world. Okay. Okay, I can't think of any other former Atleti players that we could have signed. Let me know in the comments if I missed anyone. But this is the team we've got right now. I don't think we need any other signings. We just need the existing players to grow really well. Talking about growth, look at Simeone. 77 rated already. I did loan him out to RB Leipzig. He's got another year there. Perfect scenario for us. Meanwhile, Arthur Vermeeren up to an 80 overall. But I think we're going to have to loan him out again. Because, yeah, we've just signed Rodri. He's not going to be playing anytime soon. The same for Pablo Barrios. We're getting through this season. No ifs and buts. We've now got to start winning some trophies. Bro, this is too hard. Our team is so good now and still not good enough to win La Liga. I can't believe it. What more do we need to do? At least we pick up our second domestic trophy. Make that three. But in the Champions League, semi-finals is all we could do. Look at the ratings of some of our players. Right now, I'm struggling to see what more do we actually need. I mean, look at that. Lautaro scored 30 nine goals. Memphis Depay coming in with 35. He's kind of taken away Felix's spot. But yeah, if we don't start winning the big trophies, I don't think we're going to complete our challenges. All right, Wheel. Enough is enough. We need a bit of help. Ah, uh, this is not what I was talking about. Spin the wheel of clubs. You can only make signings from these clubs. Here I was thinking this season, we can really improve the team with a better center back, left back, and whatnot. Instead, this wheel is going to decide our signings. There are 40 random clubs on it. Some good, some bad. Let's spin it and see which club we get. No way. It's Inter. I can't believe it. The wheel is literally trying to ruin Inter Milan at this rate. As if signing Lautaro and Bastoni wasn't enough. We now get to make one more signing from Inter. And they've got Savio, a really talented left midfielder. Pretty sure he played for Girona and in real life has moved to Man City. Can't go wrong with a signing like
like him. Okay, getting Savio wasn't too bad. But where's our second shining going to be from? Into Miami. Now, this would have been good if Messi was in his prime. But he's 39 years old. And he's already retiring. So I don't think we're going to sign anyone from Inter Miami. But come on. This is our fourth season. Our team is so freaking good. Let's at least win La Liga. I can't, man. I really can't. Four seasons of just losing La Liga constantly. This is looking like an impossible task. At least we're winning the Super Cup. But this is like so pointless. Fourth domestic trophy. Make that five with the Spanish Cup. What we really need, though, is La Liga. Meanwhile, even in the Champions League, Barcelona is still giving us nightmares. And again, I, I just can't pinpoint what's wrong with this team. Maybe it's the defense, the midfield, who knows? By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content, I'd really appreciate if you could spare a moment and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. We're now in our fifth season with Atletico Madrid, and we still haven't won La Liga. Maybe this season, we're gonna have to try something different. Remember the three wonder kids we were developing? Maybe it's time to start trusting them more. Although Simeone, I don't think he's ready yet. We're still going to have to loan him out for a couple more seasons. Vermeeren as well. Same thing. 83 rated, but not ready yet. Especially since we've got Rodri. We'll loan him out as well. On the other hand, Pablo Barrios. He's starting to look incredible. 85 rated at the age of 24. Problem is though, we've got Rodrigo de Paul in that same position. But he's 33. I think by the end of this season, if we keep Barrios part of our team, he might replace de Paul. So, yup, we're slowly integrating Pablo Barrios into the team. But I reckon we need a world-class centre-back as well alongside Bastoni because that's the only place I think we need a big upgrade. But let's see if the wheel's going to allow us to do that. Let's go make a random squad player 99 rated. That is something we absolutely needed. I'm putting our entire first team and bench on this wheel. And let's see which player is going to get up to a 99 overall. No way. It had to be a defender. Jose Maria Jimenez has just gotten an upgrade to a 99 overall. This has legit solved all our defensive problems because now with that defense, if we can't win La Liga, bro, there's something wrong with this game. I don't even think we need more signings this season. Let's just hopefully lift that La Liga trophy. That's what we needed, boys. A 99 rated center back. Enough to get us our first La Liga title. Sixth domestic trophy. Finally, man. We also got the Super Cup to so make that seven. Ah, oh, but we couldn't win the Spanish Cup. But hey, we can't be winning everything. But we can win the Champions League for the first time. A final against PSG. Just look at our team, man. It's so freaking good. And also, we could be making an upgrade here. Pablo Barrios is up to an 89 overall. We're gonna put him in the starting 11. But still, Atleti in their history have lost way too many Champions League finals. Let's hope that does not happen here. Can we beat PSG? Yes, we can. Ciao, Felix coming through with a hat-trick. I did not expect expect that. I think getting Jimenez to a 98 overall really saved us this season. Plus, what a comeback from Ja Felix. I think because Memphis is getting older, Felix has come through. So that's why as well, it's been a crazy season for Lautaro Felix as well. Maybe next season, we might also have an Atletico Ballon d'Or winner. Time for a quick update on the challenges. We've got that one Champions League. Just need two more. We're on seven domestic trophies. I actually thought we were on eight. And about our three youth talents, one of them, Pablo Barrio is really close to a 90 overall. Vermeeren is still out on loan for another season, but he'll get there too. He's 85 rated. Can't wait to put him into our team. Simeone too is up to an 85. That is crazy. I think soon we need to start bringing these two into our first team. Maybe next season. For now, I'm hoping the wheel just doesn't make life more difficult. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We're bankrupt. Generate 200 million of player sales. And we're also transfer bad. That is just brilliant. To be honest, I wasn't planning on making more signings because this team is absolutely ridiculous. But now we need to sell some players and I'm unsure who we can sell. I mean, we could cash in on Lautaro Martinez, but I'm pretty sure he's going to win the Ballon d'Or this season and that would be just stupid to sell him. Okay, what about selling Rodri? I've got an idea, guys. First, I'm going to sell Rodri. You guys might think I'm absolutely crazy to sell a 92 rated Rodri.
Madri. But we've got 124.6 million for him. That's a good chunk of money. And the reason why I did this was because we can now recall Bermudan from his loan spell and start developing him. We anyway needed to do this at some point. Makes sense to do it now. And I also sold Lemma for another 26 million. But we still need another seal worth 50 million. All right, who can we actually sell? Do you know what? Might have to be Marcos Llorente. He's 33 years old. I think we cash in now. And that's that. Llorente has been sold for 100 million to PSG. We went well over the 200 we needed to raise. Even after the bankruptcy, guys, I think our team is still pretty good. Not as insane as it was last season, but we still have a 97 rated Jimenez there. Lautaro is 93. We should still be winning La Liga. But first, we got the Ballon d'Or ceremony, and I think we might be seeing an Atleti player win the Ballon d'Or. And yes, indeed, it's Lautaro Martinez. With that, we've completed our first challenge of having an Atletico player win the Ballon d'Or. Wait a minute, how did bankruptcy lead to this? Knocked out of the Champions League? We even lost the Europa League final. Okay, at least we won La Liga by a landslide, trophy number eight domestically. Make that nine with the Super Cup. We're really stat padding the Super Cup. But honestly, I think the bankruptcy kind of held us back. We still need to win two more Champions Leagues, six more domestic trophies. Next season, I'm hoping we get a bit of help from the wheel. I was asking for help, not to ruin our club. Club has been charged with cheating. 40 points deduction in La Liga. That could legit get us relegated. Guys, that kind of points deduction is absolutely unreal. And I guess all we can do this season is just prepare our squad to get as many points as possible so we don't get relegated. Because if we do, we're going to miss out on Champions League and a lot of other stuff. Also, guys, Pablo Barrios is still not 90 rated. Hopefully this season he'll get there. The same with Vermeiden. He's pretty close to that 90 overall. But about Simeone, who's now back at the club, if we want him to hit that 90 overall, he'll need to be a starter. And for that, I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice Lautaro Martinez. I can't believe it, but our challenge says that we need to develop Simeone to a 90 overall. And we are indeed sacrificing Lautaro. Funnily enough, he went back and joined Inter. The son of Diego Simeone, we're trusting you. Saying that, we've now got basically unlimited cash and we can still still make a couple of signings. We definitely need some more firepower in the attack. So we're signing Takefusa Kubo. And yup, that definitely adds quite a bit to our attack. I really don't know what to expect from this season because we're dealing with a 40 points deduction. Okay, this makes me feel a bit better. We anyway missed out on winning La Liga this season by a couple of points. 81 is where we finish. But after the 40 points deduction, we're down to 13th place in La Liga, which means we avoid relegation, but we won't qualify for Champions League next season. Thankfully, we do get a domestic trophy in the Super Cup, making that 10. But what really matters now is the Champions League. If we can somehow win this, we'll be in the Champions League next season. And we should still be on track for completing all the challenges. Round of 16, we knocked out Liverpool on pens. Quarterfinals through against Frankfurt. Semi-finals knocking out Bayern. And we've got a final against Inter. There's been a lot of history in this video where we now send Inter. But we need to win this, our second Champions League. Can we do it? Yes! We can. Ciao, Felix again. Four goals. This man has scored a total of seven goals in Champions League finals for us. That is mental. Oh, and by the way, trusting Simeone's son has paid off. He's up to an 88 overall and scored 31 goals. Meanwhile, Pablo Barrios is hit the 90 overall. So has Vermeiden. If Simeone can do that as well, that's another challenge done. Challenges wise, our progress is looking good, but let's not get complacent. I'm so glad that 40 points deduction didn't cost us much for this season. Because in season 8, we're still going to be in the Champions League. The team is still amazing. No relegation. But I think one change we're going to have to make is replacing Jan Oblak. Because my man is 37. The rest of the team, though, looks still pretty insane. And we just need Simeone to go up by one more rating and we're sorted. But hopefully, the wheel will be kind this season. And looks like it will be. Because this is a great challenge for us. Every win versus Barcelona, we get to steal one of their players. Every loss, though, they get to steal one of our players. I was just checking who Barcelona have as their keeper and it's Donnarumma. That would be the perfect player for us to steal. So I think we're going to stick with our squad and just hope we can get those wins against Barca. Here we go, guys. Our first meeting versus Barca. We need to steal Donnarumma, so I'm hoping we can beat them. All right, let's see what happens. Are we going to get the win? No, it's a draw. Ah, that's annoying. Here we go, guys. Our second attempt at stealing Donnarumma. Hopefully, we can beat them. Our team is more than good enough for getting it done. So let's hope we can do it. And there you go. 
all boys a win against Barcelona and that means we get to steal Donnarumma from Barca. Okay, I'm still surprised. How did Barcelona win La Liga without Donnarumma? Fair enough, I guess. And they even won the Spanish Super Cup. Yo, we actually went trophy-less domestically. Okay, hold up. At least we've got a chance to win the Champions League. This would be our third and would complete one of our challenges. Oh, Man City's team actually looks pretty incredible. I don't know if we've got enough to beat them. Let's see what happens here. Can we get the result on penalties? We do. That was a close, close call. But our third Champions League, that's the second challenge we've completed. Also, guys, I'm surprised Simeone didn't hit that 90 overall. I think he's going to need one more season for that. The team we've built, though, is absolutely ridiculous. Every player is above 90 overall except for Simeone. I think next season, if we just get a bit of squad depth for the bench, I reckon we should be sorted. Okay, guys, for season nine, the focus is on domestic trophies. We need to win five more in the next couple of seasons, so we kind of need to be perfect. And the challenge we're getting is every win versus Real Madrid. We get to steal their player, but every loss, same thing as the Barca one. But this time, it's against our biggest rivals. And we can legit use this to steal some of their best players. This is perfect. Oh, I'm already scouting on players I want to steal from Madrid. Maybe Vinicius, Bellingham. Oh, we could do so much. But first, let's see if we can actually beat them. And can we do it? Yes, we can. Here's the fun part now. We get to steal someone from Real Madrid. Whoa, Vinicius is 94 rated. I think it would be wrong to steal anyone but him. And there you go. We've got Vinny Jr. in an athletic kit. I can't believe this is actually happening. Oh, and also, Simeone has hit the 90 overall, which means we've completed our youth challenge. Oh, and by the way, we also beat Real Madrid in the return leg. And we're just stealing Jude Bellingham for fun. And of course, with the team being just insane now, there's no way we're not winning La Liga. That's trophy number 11 in Spain. Also, the Super Cup, because we really are the Super Cup merchants. Trophy number 12. Oh, and we just won the Champions League too. It's now our final season with Atletico. All we need to do is win three domestic trophies. None of that Champions League stuff. We need to win La Liga, the Super Cup, and the Spanish Cup. And to be honest, the team is absolutely cracked. I'm just going to put Bellingham into the first team. Vinicius Jr. is there as well. Like, bro, our team is crazy good. Just look at Jimenez, who was 99 rated. He's been going down because of his age, but he's still 90 one at the age of 37. We don't need any transfers this season. We just need the final challenge to be a bit kind. And it's not going to be except the first two transfer offers. This is bad. The pressure is on in this final season. We need to win everything in Spain. All right, it's the 21st of July. The first offer that comes after this date is what we'll accept. Let's see what's the first offer going to be. Oh, it's a loan deal. I don't think that counts. Oh, wait a minute. It's got to be Molina and DePaul then. Well, DePaul is now 70 rated. I'm not surprised he's retired. He can leave. Molina will be a bad one because he's our only good right back. But oh well. And there you go. The player sales have been made. We're going to need one final signing for Atletico Madrid. And that's got to be a right back. Do you know what? Might be the best opportunity to sign the best right back right now. Probably in the world. Jeremiah Frimpong. Do you know what? We've got basically unlimited cash. We're paying his crazy release clause and just signing him directly. And that is our final signing with Atletico Madrid. Madrid. We're getting through the final season. We have to be perfect in Spain to complete all our challenges. Final season, we get La Liga. That's trophy number 13 in Spain. Just two more. The Super Cup has, of course, been secured. Everything now rests on the Spanish Cup. We win this. All challenges are complete. I think we're officially bigger than Real Madrid then. Oh, my days. I can't believe a Spanish Cup final defeat is going to cost us the final challenge. That is annoying. But hey, to get some revenge. We're about to win a Champions League. Are we going to do it? Yep, we are. I think winning five Champions Leagues in 10 seasons is definitely more valuable than 15 domestic trophies, so we'll take it. And if you enjoyed today's video, why not watch me spend 10 years managing Manchester United? And boy, was that a challenge. Click here to watch that.